Tour recovery is on for the London Wops who after a very poor early season patch of form have had to fight their way valiantly back into the top six. Things don't get any easier for them today though as they come up against the only undefeated side in their Viva Premiership. It is Gloucester at home to the Wasps. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cool Flakes Trip, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Nathan Nichols Road to the World Cup takes another step on the season into round number 8. After some fantastic form, the Wasps have a real tough ask here to beat the team that no one has beaten after 7 matches. Gloucester sit first on the ladder, 6 wins and 1 draw so far. Their previous result was a very tight, very close 12 point to 11 win over the Northampton Saints. The only match they've ever dropped any points is a 22 all draw with Bath who now currently sit in fifth position. This is a massively good team from Gloucester. There is talent throughout, plenty of import players as well. This side looks to come up from the ashes and is already becoming something of a powerhouse. As for Wasps, it's pretty much as has been for most of the season. Everything got back on track with the reuniting of Nathan Nichols at 9 and Jimmy Gopith at 10. Alapane Leoa has been absolutely sublime for the Wasps as their backline has clicked phenomenally. The last time we seen them out, it was a 28-0 win over the Exeter Chiefs and before that was a 24-7 win over Bath. Can they go one better? Can they be the only side and hand Gloucester their first defeat? We will find out over the next 80 minutes. Straight into the action we go. It will be the Wasp to kick off. Jimmy Gopith, ball in hand, and a nice little breeze behind his man as well. And it's underway. We go whistle blows. Round eight of their Viva Premiership is underway. And oh, goodness me! What a shot from Frank Eli! Has just absolutely monstered. It looked like the scrum half, Willie Hines. Now will be Hook with an early penalty, extremely early penalty. First touch of the ball and a big high shoulder from Frank Eli. That's not the start that Wasps were looking for. And now they'll concede a line out on the halfway line. Plenty of jumping options here. Hibbert throws in and it's Galaza at the middle who pulls this in for Gloucester. Wasps don't dedicate any players to this mall and they turn it right around. And oh, big tackle from Release. Davies. He's picked up the defeat attacker and driven him backwards. His 12 trees. Oh, no. Not another one this time. And it's Johnson who's put in a massive shot there. Well, what did Gloucester do here? Is this early points on offer? For Hook, oh, do not tell me. He's going for a shot 55 metres on a slight angle. This will be a monster. Remember, this is into the wind as well. I can't see this going over at all. It dips and drops very quickly. Johnson picks it up on the 22. Davies gets some room here for Leoa. Oh, is that a party? Leoa looks to the sky. It's another one. If we had one standard phase of rugby yet. Both teams so ill-disciplined. I cannot believe hardly what I'm seeing. And now look at the Wasps. They're going for a shot at goal as well. Both teams looking for early points off the tee. Difference here is Gopov has a slight breeze at his back. It's going to be a, an absolute nailer. If it's going to have any shot, looks all right. It's fading to the left, and it is well short. Hook pulls it in and hammers this downfield. Here's Nathan Nichols. Early first touch from him. Davies out the back door. Wade does well. Launch brand support. Johnson gives it to no one. And Gloucester get it back. And 12 trees. One's away from everyone. Dummies and goes twice. Big pass wide over the top. And it's dropped from Isaacs. That was a try. Desperately wanting to be scored for Gloucester. How dangerous do they look in broken play? Big ball wide. Stole it almost. Off his Crouch. teammate who was strafing Touch. across. But look at this front row here. Wood Tee. Hibbard, our follow for Gloucester. Big names in there. 
The Wasps will have to be at the top of their game if they're going to get anything out of this match. It is Haskell who's gone to number eight, but Nichols has led to run. He offloads Isaac Leoa, who goes to Daly. Round the corner for Haskell. Gopith, good tackle. Excellent tackle on Gopith. And stolen from Hook as well. Why they can't marshal at the top eventually. Finding room again, 12 trees. Through one and two, just about. Good tackle from Sidonini. Takes him down. Hines, massive room over here. It's a big chance going for the corner. And it will be one. Oh, he's gone out. It's not Wood, it's Evans, and in, in fact, the open side flank is showing too much speed, but a try-saving tackle puts him dead in goal. Wow, what a start from Gloucester. There's a reason why they are top of the table and undefeated. They'll run it back here through Cook, who slips it in fair, beautiful ball, Hines. Goes back in to Kalmafani, inside ball, fighting up forward. We know he's got speed. It's a drop goal from Hook, holding up in the wind. Mercy gets it in, and driven backwards, completely isolated. Oh, Leua puts in a cruncher. Here's Hines. Hines goes nowhere. Got to be a try, and it is. Too easy in the end. And Gloucester, after a long period, Finally, get the try. Well, they've looked like the team that's going to score. It ends up being Richard Hibbert, the hooker. Big shot there from Leua on our fower. But the big men continue to come. Hind short. And Hibbert just twinkled through a couple of half tackles. Well, no real option there for Massey at all. But to put that down to the ground. And hope of support come his way but it did not and Hibbert was too good in the end too good too fast and too much support at the breakdown as well which has been a key component already of this fixture Hook has been very influential in this match as here he comes to make it 7-0 it is Gloucester leading the Wasps and this is a great start for the undefeated side top of the table The threat is coming from quite far down. Wasps who have lost three matches so far in this season. What have they got up their sleeve now? They go left side through Gopith and Wade is flying and he doesn't pull it in though. Great tackle. Pulled in and taken down from Daly. Oh, and another high shot. That will get Daly and he does not pick the tap. They slow it all down and Hook guilty again. Half an hour ticks on, and oh, look at this. Wasps are desperate for points. They've gone again for the three with the breeze at their back. Why not? Gopith needs this for his team. Steps up, strikes it nicely, holds in the wind, and gets the three. Nice kick from Jimmy Gopith. His signer on the board. It is Gloucester leading Wasp 7 3. They're on half an hour in the first half. Well, an interesting fixture so far. Gloucester with the try. The fight back now from Wasps has got them the penalty. It's the kick is down and Nichols pulls in. And Nichols gets hammered. A bit of indecision there from the young scrum half. Has seen him get hammered. And the big bomb coming up here. And it is picked up somehow. Looks like Haskell it is who come flying from nowhere. And pulled that in. Unbelievable take from Haskell. Now here's the free kick there. It won't find touch. And they'll run it back through Isaac. So here's another kick. Is this a drop goal? Couldn't even tell. Shimmington away. Holai. Now we go back for Wasp. Daly with the chance running away. He is going to look to kick ahead. He kicks over the top of 12 trees. Back will go Hines. Here comes Leua. Don't tell me it's going to end dead. Oh, it's so close to being a fantastic kick from Daly. It has just gone dead and goal. And surely we will go all the way back 60 metres. No, we won't. I was going to say all the way back for a scrum. But it is Gloucester who have opted for a 22 dropout. Wow, that is very strange pickings there from Gloucester. Here's Nichols. Is he going to run again? He does. Intercepted. And Release. that's another mistake. 
from this young scrum half. Running away our foul, but Haskell pulls Release. him in. And a good competition at the breakdown. Just about sees the ball turned over. Here once again, running away as Evans. This is definitely a turnover. Now here's Nichols. Quickly offloading to Johnson. Johnson behind to Daly. Daly looking for a support. And Phil ball to Halai. And Halai knocks on. Oh, and another knock on. We've got knock on City going on down here. This has been an abysmal 40 minutes from both these sides in the end. What a dreadful finish to this half. We will go to the break. It is half time. Gloucester lead. Wasp, seven points to three. Wow, some real entertainment out there. The wind at the back of the visiting side. The Wasp, but they could not do too much with it. Two shots at goal. One successful. And as for Gloucester, one try converted and an unsuccessful penalty themselves. So the difference is for the stats. So 55-45 and 56-44. Possession and territory both going the way of Gloucester. The line breaks, interesting stat, three all at this point, but it is the handling errors that is costly for the Wasps, is making five to just one by Gloucester. The tackle count fairly even though in this very tight first 40 minutes of action here. Can the Wasps get the upset they're looking for? Or will they have to settle for a bonus point if they cannot? Gloucester will be loving this and they'll want to keep their undefeated streak alive. It is testing times for the team at the top with a target on their back. Well, Hook has definitely been one man who has been key to how this Gloucester side has operated, especially here today. He kicks off the second half high and with the wind in his back, gets it all the way down to Daly. You guys are. Gopov back to Leua. Leua finds space and Launchbury goes through the hole. Good ball to Smith. Smith away to Wade. And Wade runs away from everyone. Looks to step. Beautifully won. And on Christian Wade will be all the way of the only play of the half. What a try. The Wasps are back in it. And they take the lead. What's an outstanding piece of play. Right off the kickoff. Leia will put Launchbury into a big hole. And then the finishing touches from Wade. Look at this. Around the sidestep of Cook. And it is goodbye and good night to Gloucester. Oh, the Wasps are away. And Wade is that X Factor. There are plenty of them in this back line. But this one is his day for Wade. How did he not go into touch? I'm not sure. But the speed was explosive. And that was all he needed. Wade, a fantastic try. Haven't seen enough from him so far in the Saviva Premiership season. But that is a glimpse and could be the start of a fantastic turnaround for him. The usual go-to man, Alapati Leo, has not been at his best. We haven't seen too much from him. Although he did have a, a big hand in that opening try. Goppeth with a conversion is good. Now the lead for the Wasps is up to 10 points to 7. A lead of 3 after trailing by 4 just minutes ago. Wow, what a backline this Wasp side have. You look through these names, the likes of Leoa, Halai, Daly, Wade, Massey at the back. And there's plenty of talent as well. Here's Goppet getting the ball. They're going to run it out again. I think they are. Here's a chance for George Smith. He's gone ranging wide. Oh, it's Frank Halai. Another one with plenty of speed. The chase comes from Cook. But he's a big man. And he's a fast man. And Frank Halai goes in for try number two. How can you believe it? What a turnaround in the second half. Whatever they got grilled with by the coach. I've got to get some of that myself. Look how close that is to the touchline from Frankie Halai. He is too express and he burns off Isaacs and Cook and goes all the way for a massive try in regards of this match. Gloucester were looking comfortable. They were dominating, but Wasp have absolutely exploded out of the halftime sheds. Scored two tries in a matter of 10 minutes and now they look comfortably in front. Well, this is a dream here for the visitors. The Wasps, their 50 minutes is not even up yet. And they could be up 17-7. Here's Gopeth, Karamat. It's 17-7. The lead is 10. And Gloucester have absolutely been blown off the second half already. 
I don't think we've even had a ruck. Has there been one breakdown in the second 40 yet? Hook again. He'll look wide. He'll look for the forwards to do some work. Haskell says no. Gives it to Bristow. Away to Johnson. They're doing it again. It's Trevington. Oh, dodgy ball to Daly. Around the corner, Halai. Halai steps inside Hines. Looks back for Nichols. Oh, Hines. Hines has saved the day for Gloucester because Nichols is express. There's no question in that. Now they look left. Daly, Daly. Daly Stew. He wants back support. He finds Smith. Smith to Halai. Halai back in fair and intercepted. Now it's Hines running away and hammered from none Please. other than Nathan Nichols. Wow, this game has really exploded into action as Evans goes wide and knocks on. Big mistake there. Clomifoni has lost the ball dead. Leua. Daly again. Daly through. Now he needs the support back. He goes to Wade. Oh, bingo. Wade hammers through one defender. Wow, they're looking so good here. The Wasps then they spread wide. Gompeth. Oh, what a ball coming from Nichols. He somehow offloads. Smith on hand, like all good flankers always are, but cannot retain. Now Hines on the top. Good ball, and he finds it there for Marshall. And Tom Marshall is held up, and they get a couple of forwards in there with them. Our forward joins the ranks, and oh, oh, oh the Wasps get 100 men in there and charge forward. Look at Isaacs going Please. nowhere. Hammered backwards and way off his wing. Evans goes back to Wood, the captain, and Evans again. It's advantage, Gloucester. Advantage is over, though. Look out. Watts will love this ball, but they do not find it. Hines goes wide, and Hook is hammered from Nichols this time. Big defense, and Nichols is penalized. Oh, they are just so aggressive in the second half. Ah, the Wasps, they cannot do anything wrong till now. A hush around the ground as Hook goes for touch. A, a rare chance for Gloucester to go on the attack. Hibbert gives his fly half a few words of encouragement as they make their way towards the 22. Looking to get back in the game, Hibbert will throw. He goes to the back as well and Evans pulls in. And he gets a little round for um, Hines who goes inside 12 trees again. Trinder, oh, the ball wide is knocked on and it's kicked away from Bristow. Not a bad effort in the end either. And it goes into touch from the loose head prop. Wow, Trinder and 12 trees showing glimpses of what they did in the, in the first half. Another line out here for Hibbert. Throws in, just taken for Thrush. And they'll drive on the back of their second row as well to Gloucester. Back to Cook. And the full back, beautiful ball finds acres of space for Tom Marshall. He glides through into the 22 as well. Recycled ball, they come wide, a big chance. Trinder and field, gonna be a try. Gloucester go choice, but do not go all the way. And they get penalized. Jeremy Thrush cannot get the ball out. He is wrapped up like an early morning Christmas present. Gopeth, wind in his face, hammers us all. Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful from Jimmy Gopeth. That's how you find touch. There is just minutes remaining here. The second half has gone by in an absolute flash. To the front, launch spray goes to Nichols. Gopeth pops it up. Leua, big ball wide. Leua to Daly. Oh, dreadful ball from Daly looking for Frank Halai, who's already got one tonight. He'll be looking for another. Bit of a dull way to finish that movement off for the Wasps, but they've looked fantastic in the second 40, and they've blown Gloucester clean off the field. Stolen. That's beautifully done from Davies. Got with the way to Leua. He's been quiet, but he can afford to be. As again, it's Daly. This time finds Wade. Launch free goes to contact. Oh, and it looks like Gloucester might find this ball back, and they do. Hook gets hammered from Nichols. Leua takes out Hines. Numbers in space wide. Oh, good tackle. 12 trees wrapped up from Halai. And going nowhere either as they hold him up even longer. A ball finally, but the ball does squirt out. Lost to look wide again. Leo has hammered his opposite number. And through. Going again. It's a fuller. 
Someone stop him! Finally he is and he always says give me that ball! Intercepted! And the ball scratched free again! Release. Oh and come on, a funny! He's had an average night, but he's made up for it that final little play. His numbers to the left side, beautiful inside ball. Keeping it alive again! Going through the middle is Hibbard! Just about all the way and turned over again. Sherrington. Oh, Davies is hammered. Davies up. Oh, Tom is up on the corks and Davies goes himself. Leola wide for Wade. Wade and Fair goes to Daly who's on the wing. Inside to Sherrington. Leola intercepted. And a try will it be for Gloucester and Marshall. No. Very close now. Evans tries to do it all himself off the back of the ruck. He might lose the ball here. And he will. Wasp get it back. Nichols. Oh, that's offside, surely. How is that deemed onside there from that defender? That is dreadful officiating. Oh, take that, he says, Davies. He gets the ball back for his team. Go the ball away to Leola. Leola runs away to Halai. Halai looking again, Leola. Oh, and a party, Leola. Say goodbye. Eat the dust. And give your fans a big kiss. And a party, Leola. What a finish. The Wasps have arrived. This season is well and truly on tent as they give the first big L to Gloucester. Well, this is magic between Hawaii and Leua. These two know each other's games. They've played Super Rugby and ITM Cup for a long time as opposites, but also in the same country. The Wellingtonian and the Aucklander. What a combination these two have struck together here at Wasps. What a combo. This whole backline has proved to be. All launched from former Super Rugby player as well, Jimmy Gopper. Here he is. He's had a storied career throughout the globe. What a home he has found with this fantastic backline. What about the chance as well of Charles Piertel joining the team in the near future? What's a combination that could prove as Gopper adds another two. This has been the second half demolition of Gloucester here by the Wasp. And there is full time. A lot of extra minutes in that one, but it was worth it to see that amazing final try from Leoa. He wasn't at his best tonight, but boy, oh boy, did his teammates really step up to the plate. The likes of Wade, the likes of Halai, and his big partners in the forwards as well. Big matches from them all, and it is the Wasps who get a massive win here over the previously undefeated Gloucester. Wow, well, what can you say about that? 7-3 at halftime, 21 unanswered points in the second 40 against the winners wind as well. The Wasps have come from nowhere and have come out with an obvious game plan to really throw everything at that head-on wind. Gloucester's points coming from a Hibbard try and a hook conversion. As for the Wasps, Wade, Leua and Halai getting one apiece. Gopith, three from three conversions and the penalty goal from the first half as well. What a 40 minutes we have just witnessed. Things were fairly even with Gloucester just taking a pip out of possession and territory at half time, but it's been completely turned around with the Wasps. 61 and 54 possession and territory respectively in this whole matchup. Other storied stats here will not tell us too much really. Penalties proved a bit of a problem for the two sides. Gloucester giving away four, the Wasps just three. But other than that, no mention of line breaks or carving up the ham through the middle of the park like we just seen from the Wasps. How will this affect the table now? Gloucester have lost. We are almost 10 rounds through. I think this is round eight. So we'll have a look at round nine, have a look at the table and see what it's just done for these two sides. Very, very different results for these two teams. Four teams have gone into their ninth match of the season in the Aviva Premiership. All the rest of the teams are on eight. The London Wasps at six with five wins, three losses, four bonus points, 24 points for the side who is surging back into this top six contention. They have a four-point lead over their round nine opponents, the Worcester Warriors, who are on 20. They'd love to open up that gap 
a little bit wider and really assert some dominance as they're going to have to rotate these players who have played a good portion of the last three, four, five rounds as well. That is always the risk that this causes, but a good comeback, and they find themselves on the trail to the top six. Gloucester up the top, though, still hold on to their top spot, although it is only by two points. Leicester Tigers have played nine, they sit on 28, as do Saracens from eight. 26 for Harlequins and Bath, and then we get down to the Wasps, and further on, Worcester, Northampton, London Irish, Falcons, Sale, and Exeter, rounding out the 12 teams. So that sets us up beautifully for our round nine fixture. The Worcester Warriors will be travelling to face the Wasp for round number nine. They are sixth versus seventh. A big match in this competition. Nichols has been indifferent, effective, but has had a few errors riding into his match. Will we see some better performances from him in future? Can he build and look forward to a Six Nations season very, very soon for England? Or will it be too much too soon for the youngster as he looks to make way for his dream of the World Cup with England? We will find all that out in the future as we make our way to the big tournament not very far away now. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Plenty more Nathan Nichols' Road to the World Cup coming your way in the very soon future as well as the world cup is not too far away until then thank you for tuning and watching hope you've enjoyed leave a thumbs up if you have and subscribe so you don't miss any more of this action coming your way but until next time i'll see you wherever we may end up until then take care